What's up guys, Matt from the Gamer Initiative here bringing you another episode of our Manager Mode commentary for FIFA 15. So in the last video we had some Premier League action for you there where we managed to get a decent win over QPR but then we uh, did drop points against West Ham with a one-all draw there. Uh, luckily for us, Chelsea also dropped a lot of points in the last, in the last video so um, we are now six points clear of them with 14 games to go so Really going to try and push on uh, with the league now and hopefully we can go on and win this title because we're in a really good position. The only downside uh, was the injury that we which occurred and that was a big injury to our top striker and also the top goal scorer in the Premier League is Alcacer. He is out now for at least three weeks so he's going to miss a few games uh, so hopefully, hopefully Long can still can still kind of fill that hole in his absence but we're going to get straight on here with the game against Swansea again in the league Swansea obviously a very good team not going to be easy to get the win over them but at home I've always fancied this at home we've been really good at home so far so hopefully we can keep that up in this one okay then guys here we go St Mary Stadium the venue for the midweek action of Swansea against Southampton uh, I don't know how Swansea are exactly doing in the league. You can see there, they're mid-table, so they're, they're having an average season. Uh, obviously, they're not going to be easy to defeat, but at home, we always fancy our chances, and I would expect us to uh, pick up maximum points here today. Swansea here on the offensive. Boney with the early shot, and well saved by Forster. Ball over the top here for Long to chase. Can he get on the end of it? He can! A slip from the defender, and route one football there. Long does what he does best though, uses his strength and power and when the defender slipped he was always going to be favourite there, simple ball over the top really, so on the replay there you can see, ball over the top, defender just doesn't deal with it and after that Long always going to be favourite and 1-0 to Southampton. Crossing towards Boney and he gets there and lofts it over the keeper, the cross comes from nothing and but We've always got to try and stop that cross and once it came in, Boney with his header and strength. Thought it was defended reasonably well but still got a very good cross in. And keeper can't get there despite the header coming from 12 yards out. And it's 1-0. Here comes Dyer down on right hand side again. And the cross comes in again and oh, just about gets ahead of Boney this time. Long with the ball towards Volland to chase. Can he get there? He's still going as Volland. Can he finish? He does. And the perseverance pays off again. Another real calamity from Swansea at the back. The ball played over the top towards Volland and he just kept going, kept powering through and the ball eventually falls kindly to him between those two defenders. I don't know how he gets there, but he does and right on the stroke of half time. It's 2-1 to Southampton. And there we go, there is the half time whistle. So it was pretty much the last kick of the half. And to be honest, we're probably a little bit lucky to go in ahead. I mean, Swansea haven't created a huge amount. But neither have we, to be honest. It's just been those two balls over the top. And both times, the strength of our players have been able to get us through and get us on goal. As you can see there, I mean, it says two shots, one on target. I mean, obviously they're both on target. But there you go. Only the two chances. Swansea at the moment, holding the ball well, three shots, creating a possession, creating chances, but we're holding firm, nothing really clear cut for Swansea other than the uh, the goal obviously that they scored, but we need to try and get hold of the ball a bit better in this second half to just take the pressure off us as we look for the three points. And here comes Swansea straight away with Sigurdsson, oh great challenge, oh but everyone's fallen over with each other and Sigurdsson! Oh, and it's just wide. After the great tackle, all of my players fall over one another. And that's not the first time it's happened. There's obviously sometimes a bit of an issue with the physics engine. So Volland with the free kick here. He's an awful long way out, but he'll give it a go. And he has done. Oh, that's close. Is it just wide? Or oh, I think the keeper maybe gets... No, it's just wide. That was a good effort from him, though, from a long way. Keeper probably had it covered. 
Okay, guys, last 20 minutes here. Just making a couple of substitutions. Going to bring on Ward, Prowse and Davis for Tanish and Volland. Both slightly more defensive-minded just to try and make sure we're not quite so open at the back here. Oh, one yard has been caught in possession here. And Swansea can attack straight away. Ball in towards Boney. And just about dealt with. Klein with the cross in towards the middle. And it's there. As far as Schneidlin who hits it. And well saved. Rodriguez will collect. That's a great little hit back. Oh. And struck from Schneidlin. He hits the post. But that is also the full time whistle. And that was a real scrappy affair there. At this time of the season, the wins are just all that's important. And we weren't at our best. We didn't create that many chances. Uh, not even on the counter-attack in that second half. But we were able to hold firm. And Swansea didn't really test Forster. Uh, he took a couple of crosses but and long balls. But other than that, they weren't able to test him. As you can see, big thing there. We got back into it the second half in terms of possession. We were down at like 42 or 43 in that, so we we held the ball a little bit better. And like I said, Swansea never looked like they were about to score. So in the end, a pretty comfortable 2-1 win. Okay then, guys. So that's another great win in the league as we start edging ever closer now. You know, only 13 games to go. We're a big six clear and Chelsea to play. Uh, if we can beat Chelsea, we only need to win maybe nine of those games at most including Chelsea, and we can have the title. But for now, our focus must shift very quickly over to the FA Cup. Uh, now, obviously, we are still technically battling on all three fronts at the moment. We're in the final of that Capital One Cup, which must be coming up. And we also now have the FA Cup. Cardiff, away to Cardiff, is a game we should be winning, lower league opposition. We will do the same we've been doing in all the Cups where we go with our kind of cup team, as it were, so uh, one change I will need to make is Alcesa. He's not going to be able to take part, so I will put... We'll put, we'll put Gea in there. Uh, do we let him maybe even play? Maybe I'll give him his debut uh, ahead of Bertrand, seeing as he's going to be with us long term, so... That's the guy we want to be playing and kind of building up for us. Obviously, Long is going to have to continue up top because we don't have that other option now. Maybe in hindsight, you know, selling all of the strikers was not the best idea now. But that's fine. We can address that in the summer if, if we need to. So save those changes. And we'll get straight on to the Capital One Cup game. Uh, sorry, not Capital One. Uh, FA Cup against Cardiff. Really would like to. Yeah, I mean, if we could, if we could hit the treble, that would be absolutely incredible. I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. I mean, we've got a very good chance in the league, in League Cup, Capital One Cup now being in the final, and obviously the league's going well. But FA Cup, anything can happen. It's one game, so we need to be at our best here against Cardiff if we do want to progress. Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, up in Cardiff today for some FA Cup action. As we said. Really good if we could have a run in this game, in this competition. It's not our priority right now, obviously. Priority is the league. But if we could get a win here, you know, looking around, once you start getting into, like, the last 16, the quarterfinals, anyone has a chance. So we have to be at our best today, I think. But it's it's a game that we can look to try and win against lower league opposition. Oh, an early chance here for Cardiff. They're through. Oh, great save by Forster. Kenwin Jones, I think that was, was... Bursting through on goal. Through ball here to Long. He hits it early. And the keeper saves just about. But first real sight of goal there for Southampton. And would have taken something special to beat the keeper from out there. But they've got themselves a corner here. And Ward Prowse to take it. It comes in. And the header's there. From I believe it's... Who is number five? Is it going to be Gardos? It is. It's Gardos. With a big powerful header up from the back. And bullets past the keeper. Just what we wanted. The early goal. 1-0 to Southampton. And Mayer. Straight away here. He's for goal. Can he add a second? There's a pretty tame shot in the end. Should have maybe gone for power in the placement. but And he's off. 
He's off from the challenge. Stephen Davis in the 14th minute. That's a big, big blow. Didn't need to dive in. I was expecting him to turn around. And from that, it's a stupid challenge to make in that area of the pitch. And now we're going to have to play a lot of a game with only 10 men. Well, it's given away by Gaia. And Jones can now run at our defence. And Gardos, he has to block him off there. We had to take that challenge after the poor pass from Gaia. But now, really good position here for the free kick. And it's up. And it's off the line with the header. I put the man back there. And Cardiff here, they're throwing a goal from the quick free kick. But it's wide. It was a really good header off the line before from that free kick. Denies probably almost a certain goal. But a corner here. Now to be dealt with. And the header's in. And it's over. Corner comes in. It's fallen. And it's blocked. And there's still danger there. And the ref's given a penalty. Oh, it's soft. It's soft. It's so soft. But we can't complain too much. We've had a lot of soft penalties over the, year, over the season so far. It is really, really soft. He's not even doing anything. But Cardiff, after that, that pressure there, the good save of the free kick, they couldn't get it away. Now Forster, he's up against Whittingham. Can he save it? Oh, and he's gone for the cheeky dink down the middle. What a bastard. And Cardiff, they draw level, and they have a man advantage. Southampton here with a corner, looking to get back ahead straight away. In from Ward-Prowse. The header's there. It's blocked off the line. And it is again. Another set piece. And another goal. This time not directly from the header. But Long there with the rebound. Keeper came. Couldn't quite get there. And Long with a simple tap in. Take those all day. And the lead restored almost instantaneously. 2-1. And there we go. There's the half-time whistle. So we go in with the lead at the break. Just about... Two set pieces, two corners, so not quite what you would expect from Southampton normally. Uh, but at the end of the day, when we're down to 10 men, we've got to take those. And those corners are going to be valuable. This second half is not going to be easy, like I said, with the 10 men. Cardiff, they piled on some good pressure. As you can see, starting to now enjoy a bit more of the ball. And I think in this second half, we're just really going to have to take on the pressure and just hope that maybe we can hit them on the counter-attack. Kishner to run onto here. He's got some space. He's still going, Kishner. Can he find a cross towards Long? He can! And he puts it onto the roof of the net. Great running from Kishner there. But Long just couldn't quite get on top of it. Mayer's got beyond his man. Goes towards Kishner at the back post. He finds the header. But the keeper saves well. Okay, just making a substitution here. Mayer has done a fantastic job on the right side of midfield today. But bring him off for the last 15 20. Just put Jay Rodriguez on there. Fresh pair of legs just for these last few minutes. Kishner. He's still going, is Kishner. Great running. He's gone all the way across. Can he now hit it up for long? Oh, and it's fallen now to Ward Prowse on the edge. He hits it. But the keeper saves. We're into stoppage time now. And drag of it, here comes Cardiff now. One last chance. It's to the edge of the area. Bodies all around. Can we get it clear? Cardiff shift it once more. But he's offside. That should be the end of that now. And there we go, that is it. That is the full time whistle. And Southampton, much like they did in the last game maybe. But even more so here, they hold on. For a great win. Nothing fancy about our goals. Nothing fancy about our attacking today. As soon as Davis got sent off after 14 minutes for that. Pretty reckless challenge. We're always going to be on the back foot. But we held strong. And we restricted Cardiff from really any more chances. Or clear cut chances in that second half. And we managed to hold on for the win once again. And. We're now through to the next round of the FA Cup. So yeah, there you go. You can see there's all the teams we're going to be going through. 
Uh, Chelsea obviously there. We don't know about United yet. And then probably Arsenal. We don't, although they're with Everton. So no more Man City, no more Spurs. You know, there's a couple of big teams already gone, which is obviously good for us. Okay, there we go, guys. It's just confirmation there that Stephen Davis will be suspended for the next game following his red card. That's all fine. Uh, the next game, though, it is a big one, actually, up against Liverpool in the league. Uh, we, we will save that video, that game for the next video, but as you can see, the next one's going to be a big one, boys. Home to Liverpool, and then after that, it is the League Cup final. So make sure you come back for that one. It's going to be a really good video, no doubt. Hopefully we can pick up our first piece of silverware. As for this one, obviously still maintained our six points advantage over Chelsea. So that's very good. Uh, not really much else to say at the moment on that one. So we will leave this video here. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with this commentary. Uh, but for now... Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.